Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone expert. Welcome to my hormone blog. Today, I'm gonna to answer a question, which is quite interesting really, about uh, the use of progesterone. Uh, so the hormone progesterone today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about. So the question comes from uh, an English lady, Maggie, and she's saying, um, or asking, which uh, progesterone is best? Uh, the creams, the gels, or the pills, or none of the above? Well, let's have a little look at it. So there's uh, this a reasonable amount of science out there about the about, about progesterone. So let's just have a recap. What does progesterone do in the body? Well, it is very important uh, to control estrogen. So through the fertile years, where estrogen can be uh, produced in in high levels, um, it's there to control so estrogen doesn't go crazy. So we see it typically being produced in the the last fourteen days of the cycle after an ovulation. Um, and it has a big controlling effect on the amount of blood which is uh, produced on the uterine wall, breast uh, growth and tenderness, this kind of thing. All these will be controlled by progesterone. So after, after menopause, do we need progesterone? Well, some ladies like to uh, use it and, and, and benefit from it and other ladies don't. So what does it do after menopause? Well, progesterone is very important for our nervous system in different ways. One of the ways which it's uh, very important is the calming effect. So progesterone helps the brain produce uh, the neurotransmitter called GABA. And GABA is the peacekeeper of the nervous system. It, 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 uh, it locks all the other neurotransmitters which are more excitatory. It locks them out so they can't deliver their messages. So we get calm in the nervous system. You get too much GABA, then you're going to be very calm. You're going to be sleepy, drowsy, that kind of thing. No get up and go. So like everything else, we need a balance. So if there is anxiety, anxiousness, uh, those kind of symptoms uh, after menopause, then progesterone can, be, uh, can possibly be of help. So otherwise, uh, progesterone is very important for the production of a tissue, a fatty tissue called myelin, which covers our nerves. And progesterone is actually produced in the little cells of the nervous system called swan cells. Um, to make sure we produce enough myelin. So the autoimmune disease, multiple sclerosis, uh, part of this is the demyelination of the nerves, uh, which means your nerves get fried if you try to send electrical impulses. Um, so there might possibly be a progesterone connection. Progesterone also has a mild anti-inflammatory effect. Uh, cortisol, uh, the main anti-inflammatory of the body is made from uh, uh, through progesterone. So it does have a mild inf effect there, it has a, a mild um, effect, a decreasing effect on the immune system. So we don't get the autoimmune problems quite as easy, etc. So it has some functions in the body. It's also important for skin, um, more the elastin tissues than the collagen, which is estrogen's domain. So there are things which, uh, which um, progesterone is used for. So perhaps uh, some ladies would, would like to, would benefit using a little bit of it uh, after menopause. But for most ladies, the, the biggest uh, time for supporting progesterone is in those perimenopausal times where um, no ovulation, no extra increase of uh, progesterone, uh, so estrogen can go dominant, can go a little bit crazy, and we start getting uh, some of these perimenopausal symptoms uh, like um, heavy bleeds, uh, breast tenderness, um, uh, being becoming more anxious, all this kind of thing. So what do we use, ladies? Do we use the creams? Do we use the gels? Do we use the pills? Well, as I said, there, is, uh, there are studies out there, but possibly not enough, but uh, there are studies out there. Now, using the gels or the creams um, is the easiest way forward. Uh, these are possible over the counter in some countries, otherwise they're possible to, to be purchased through the internet. Um, but do they work? Well, when you measure the effects of the hormones, you want to be testing in some way, blood testing, urine testing, uh, saliva testing. So in some of the studies done, when they look at different uh, ways of measuring the hormone or measuring progesterone, they do see that using the gels or the creams, there was a bigger increase uh, dramatically of the progesterone in the tissues. So using saliva testing or the capillary testing, so that would be sort of a little bit of a blood spot, 
um, rather than taking drawing blood and taking the serum, uh, then we see that there are quite high levels of progesterone. So it seems to be affecting tissue, but it's but then when you compare this with taking serum, uh, also taking urine, the levels are much lower. So this might indicate that it's good in the tissue, but it doesn't really get into the to the body. So protecting of the endometrium, so the um, uh, the uterine wall uh, from the effects of estrogen, it, progesterone is uh, through the creams and gels is possibly not going to be your 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 best bet. Um, so, but uh, tissue levels will increase. Uh, there will can there could be a storage in the fat tissue, which which it, it might be good, it might not be, it might be bad. Uh, as I said, there's not a lot of studies out there that really confirm or support this. Um, but locally it will have an effect, so skin tissue possibly uh, will uh, will be better from using the progesterone. But if your mood, if you're anxious, if you've got a, a, the uh, uterine wall, which is uh, for too active, breast tissue, tenderness, etc., then you really want to get it in uh, systemically. So looking at the pills. Now, uh, the pills will be uh, obviously absorbed, go directly to the, to the liver, and the liver's job is to break down um, the, the hormone in the pills, which is bioidentical, which is progesterone, if you get a progesterone pill. Eutrogestin is the, the product name for, for Europe, at least, uh, most countries in Europe. Um, so, so yes, so this will be broken down by the liver and the liver is quite effective at breaking down the uh, progesterone into its two metabolites called alpha and beta pregnanodiol. Now the alpha pregnanodiols is the one which will travel to the brain and help the brain uh, in its production of GABA. So this is the one that's going to bring you, you peace. Now, you're going to lose a lot of it in excretion. So using a urine test to test how much uh, progesterone uh, you, you're actually um, uh, producing um, or breaking down at least, um, th this would be a good way forward. Um, and this gives an indication, a very clear indication of uh, if you need it or you don't need it. So the pills are going to help you more systemically. They're going to help the uterine wall. They're going to help your, your mood and your breast tissue. Now, in most countries, this is uh, prescription only. So you're going to have to talk to your docs about this. Um, and the, the uterogestone comes in 100 and 200 milligrams. And depending on your symptoms, you might get away with the 100, but you might uh, have to go up so high and have the 200. Now... The side effect of taking the pills is getting too much of the alpha uh, pregnanodiol to the brain, which means you're going to go drowsy. So there's your symptom. If you get drowsy, feeling too sleepy, no, get up and go, then you've been getting too much progesterone uh, in the pills. So you want to you want to cut back to the half of it and see how that goes. So that's my little story today about progesterone. I hope you found this interesting. It, it is a topic, it is an area where many ladies uh, would like more information. Um, I always believe testing is the best way forward and uh, uh, I always uh, like the urine testing better than any other tests um, and especially related to progesterone. So I hope you found this interesting and uh, well, I'll be back another day. If I could help in any way, remember, send me an email, sw at sally-walker.com and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. So happy hormones, happy life.